Hey guys, Rob Davis, One Blue Robot. I am here with Jeff Whittle. He is officially our uh, newest client as of this filming right now, and uh, we are super excited. Um, this is, it's the company is Whittle & Associates. That's close. Did I get it right? Well, Whittle & Partners. Whittle & Partners, okay? Don't look up Whittle & Associates. Whittle I told him Partners. that 30 seconds He did ago. just tell me that. He just told me that. Okay, <laughs> so um, he is a, a multifaceted business uh, coach and uh, uh, and he, we're going to get into all the different details. I first met him through um, Tommy, another uh, EOS implementer, and it seems like a lot of these guys and gals, uh, EOS is a great platform, but you have a lot of other skills that you share with businesses, and we're going to talk about all of them. All right, so Jeff, um, just uh, give us the background. Let's get ready. Tell us, you know, kind of who you are, the basics of what you do, and I'll dig a little deeper as we go. Sure. Uh, I'm a recovering lawyer. I practiced law here in Dallas for about 15 years. Hated every minute of what it. What kind of law? I was a commercial litigator. 15 years was long enough. Mm -hmm. And so I was fortunate I had the opportunity to move over onto the business side and uh, over the course of years had different opportunities and kind of worked my way through various C-level positions and ended up as an English major lawyer running a manufacturing company. I was the CEO of a manufacturing company for about six years. Okay. And uh, then at 55, I decided it would be fun to live at home with my wife and uh, because I was on the road all the time. Mm -hmm. And was lucky I had the opportunity to think about what would be fun to do. And what I thought would be fun to do is have no employees and to just help people who were trying to build a better business. What I tried to do was find tools that I could bring to these businesses to help. There are a lot of consultants around around who are the smartest guy in the room about something. I'm never that guy. There's no topic about which I'm the smartest person. And so what was important to me is to make sure that there was a coaching and educational component, not a consulting component. You gotcha, know? which yeah. is a big difference. It is a huge difference. It's one thing to just tell people, hey, this is what you need to be doing because I'm the expert. Right. Versus, you know what, I'm gonna watch you, we're gonna see what you're doing and find ways to improve. And that's one of the fundamental beliefs in the EOS system. You probably know this talking to Tommy and others. Mm -hmm. We believe the answer's in the room. When, right. when we're working with these leadership teams, it's, it's never our job to tell them. It's our job to challenge them as long as it takes to get them to get to the answer. That's a wealth of experience and perspective. I, I tell people uh, I'm a very wide but shallow puddle. I look like this giant lake, that, and it turns out you can walk across it. I know a lot about, a, a little bit about a lot. And it's just someone like you and what you do is that you have the ability, even if it is shallow across a large lake, <laughs> to have a perspective, right? Right to, up, to see things that are coming. I get to be on a lot of different teams. Uh, with people that I like. I'm, I'm very, very lucky. I don't have to work with people I don't like. Because you get to choose now. I choose, they choose me and inevitably the EOS implementer they choose is that person that resonates, mm -hmm. that, that both resonate for the other. And so if I'm not a good fit for somebody, they usually don't choose me. If they're not a good fit for me, they usually don't choose me because I don't play a lot of games about trying to convince you that I am a six foot, eight inch, Brazilian model. You right. know, that's not me. I'm right. not that. Right. So uh, these people all end up being friends. And so I get to be on lots of different leadership teams with people who are my friends, helping them fix issues that are holding their business back. And that makes them more money and that makes them happier and it gives them the opportunity to do things in their lives. And so that's really what we're trying to accomplish with EOS is, is to help people create a better business and a better life. I mean, there's both a personal and a, and a commercial component to it. Mm -hmm. How personal is it in the work that you do and your team does with these clients? It's usually super personal. And uh, you said they're smaller companies. Sometimes they are. People's definition of small, can that can be pretty broad. Um, so so let's, let's do that. Let's talk about before we get into the person. So what is your, your typical client? What, what business size is that? The, the typical client has more than 15 employees. They typically have a leadership team that, that exists at some level. The owner of the business isn't trying to do everything at the C level. They're not trying to be the person that sells and markets and runs the operation. They, they have a team. They've grown to that point. And so there's been some maturity in the business where the original structure that existed has probably been outgrown. 
It's, it's a growth company. They're, they're past a couple or three million dollars. Um, and that's not critical from a can they pay me standpoint. It's critical from a are, are they really somebody that's got the bandwidth? Are they to, established? Are they experienced different things that that, 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 that kind of revenue brings? Right. That's one of the great things about the model is it's, it's not constrained to a size of company. It, it's available as a resource to companies that are dealing with specific issues. And those, those issues are typically around growth, hitting a ceiling, and pushing through them. And so even big companies hit ceilings. It happens all the time. Mm -hmm. you, how do you, what do you do and your team do to make sure that that personal culture is still there, but that the business success can still be had? Well, the personal culture is going to be there and we don't try and change it. Uh, when we work through issues of culture and core values, what, what we teach them is that this isn't about selecting core values. We're not going to select the culture. The culture exists. We've got to discover it. We've got to articulate it. And then we've got to protect it. And so some of the earliest work that we do is around understanding. Uh, culture is something that it ends up being a part, I think more than anything, on the people component of EOS because we simply say that right people share your core values. EOS is all about simplicity and when we say right people, right seats, right people simply means you're hiring people that share your core values. And so once we do that work around the culture, then the challenge is for the business to use those core values to hire people, to fire people, to coach people, to recognize, to reward. Because they have that standard to measure right. off of. Right. Gotcha. Okay. And, and it puts them in a place where all of a sudden the core values aren't just some poster on the lobby. It's the language that's being used to talk about behavior. Because we come in, we do what we call a 90 minute meeting, we mm -hmm. pull the leadership team together, mm -hmm. we walk them through what the process is gonna look like and we tell them it's gonna be so exciting, we're gonna articulate, we're gonna discover your core values and then we're gonna make sure that everybody in the room shares the core values and if they're not the right people, we're gonna deal with it and we're gonna celebrate it. And everybody in the room, including the person who doesn't share the core values knows, uh-oh, <laughs> I'm not I, sure. I, I may like. be one of those people. Yeah. So they're kind of prepped, and yeah, and and so and in the end, though, that's how, that's the only way you can grow, right? right. You get, because if you don't have people sharing core values, then you have this kind of antagonistic, not because they're not capable, good people, right? But they don't see and share the same. They just don't have a healthy organization. Tell us a little bit about your personality, your culture. You know, what can people that are looking to do business with you come to expect? Wow, that's, that's a great question. Uh, I like to think I'm smart, and that doesn't mean I know the answers, but it means I'm reasonably quick on the uptake. And so they're not gonna have to drag me kicking and screaming through the intellectual rigor of understanding what we're doing. And uh, so that's, that's an asset, I hope. Uh, I hope they can expect a sense of humor. Uh, I'm 61 years old. I've spent all the time I care to spend around yeah, you know, <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with those people. Right. But the fact of the matter is occasionally I'm going to say bad words and occasionally I'm going to make jokes that some people think are funny and some people don't and that's what makes it funny. Yep. And so I, I hope in working with me uh, they'll have a balance between a, a very competent person who can help, help them work through this process and have a good time doing it. That's what I hope. That's terrific. Would it be okay if there are certain things about what Jeff is that we don't? Share we don't. With we don't want to know everything. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. So there, there, we do draw a line. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> All right. So just wrapping this up, then. Anything else that Jeff, you feel like people that are watching this video, considering you and your services, need to know? I think they need to know that I'm committed to them getting good results. Um, I think to, they need to know that I've been there. I'm, I'm not some person that's practicing on them. I've I've made payrolls. I know what it's like to, to have the, the fortunes of a lot of people on your shoulders. I know what it's like to sit in the big chair. Um, and, and I enjoy the process of being at whatever level I can, a resource for folks who are willing to do the hard work to get better. It, and it is hard work. Um, we don't come in with a magic wand and do EOS to you. I, I like being that person that people will trust enough with one of the most important things in their lives, which is their business, their mm -hmm. livelihood, mm -hmm. 
it's very flattering to be that person. And so I want people to know that I take that very seriously. And if they do choose to work for me, they've got my commitment that I'm going to do everything I can to help them be successful. Terrific. Well, guys, there you have it. That's kind of an intro into who Jeff is, I think most importantly. And uh, website they can find you at is? www.whittlandpartners, not Whittlin Associates, whittlandpartners.com. <laughs> whittlandpartners.com. We obviously are going to be doing the social media stuff and, and, and we'll have tons of links and a lot of activity going on there. Highly encourage that you reach out. This is a, I know several now, we have clients, several clients that are EOS implementers. Each of them have a very unique personality. The approach and mechanics and tools are largely the same but you get a sense for the background, for um, some maturity, some experience, having you know, walked in the shoes at all kinds of levels. That's incredibly valuable for the person that that absolutely fits you know, towards. Um, with Tommy off camera, I can say, if you want someone that just is gonna, you're just gonna like laugh and not stop laughing, you know, but have the same success in a different way, it's gonna be Tommy. That's your guy. <laughs> he, is not your, he is not the attorney. <laughs> If you want the guy looking to build a custom VW bus, then it's me. Again, Rob Davis here with Jeff Whittle, Whittle and Partners, uh, One Blue Robot. Watch for a lot of really great things coming. Uh, we're very excited to be working with them um, and to help you understand why you're going to be excited about working with them as well. So watch for more coming. We'll be talking to you soon.